Hey everybody, my name is Derek Bridey, and I'm a developer relations engineer working on AR Core. Today, I'm looking forward to introducing you to the new Geospatial Creator, powered by AR Core and the Google Maps platform. Geospatial Creator gives you the tools you need to design, build, and place 3D content in a real world location by providing you with a preview of a digital twin of the world. In this workshop, we'll be using Unity to create an augmented reality experience that uses Geospatial Creator which can be found by downloading AR Core extensions and the Geospatial Creator. With Unity, developers are able to build rich and powerful augmented reality experiences from awesome 3D games to immersive shopping experiences. Geospatial Creator lets you focus on pushing the boundaries of your imagination and helping you make the world your canvas. Today, we'll learn how to set up Geospatial Creator in Unity, how to go to a given location in the scene view, how to import a 3D asset into the 3D twin of the world, and how to position it in the right place. After that, we'll make the experience more engaging by adding a realistic animation to the object. Finally, we'll view the augmented reality experience on our device at that location. Let's start creating. All right, let's get started with a new project in Unity. On the top right in Unity Hub, let's start with a new project. We're going to be using the 3D URP template. In the bottom right, fill in a good old project name. I'm going to be using Geospatial Creator Project. Then we'll hit Create Project. I'm going to be using Unity Editor version 2021.3, LTS version. But probably it will work on uh, newer Unity versions as well. Let's hit Create Project and wait for it to load. All right, with that out of the way, let's get our project dependency set up. In the description of this video, you'll find all the resources that you'll need. So please go over there and find uh, all of the dependencies. Uh, we're going to be installing those now. So from Window, open up the Package Manager, and use the plus symbol here to add the required dependencies. We'll start by adding a package from the tarball. Head over to your Downloads folder and find AR Core Extensions for Unity. We'll click Open. And make sure you have version 137 here, or located right over here. After that, we'll use the plus icon again to add a different dependency. And this time, we'll add the Cesium extension. So click Open. And here, we're using a Cesium version 0.3.1, but probably a new version of will work as well. We'll import the text mesh pro resources. Click import over here. After that, head over to the AR Core extensions package. Open up the sa samples, and we'll import the geospatial sample. We'll click import over here. We'll close the package manager and open the geospatial sample scene by double-clicking on this little icon right over here. Perfect. Now that we have the geospatial scene set up, let's configure our project. Heading over to File and Build Settings, we'll switch the player to Android or your iOS if you're using that platform. Click Switch Platform. And on the top here, don't forget to press Add Open Scenes. And we'll disable the sample scene that the Unity project started with. After that, we'll head to the player settings and configure the project. In other settings, we'll be setting the color space to gamma. Disabling the auto graphics API and disabling Vulkan. So only OpenGL is left here. Scroll down to the other settings, and we'll upgrade the minimum API version from 22 to 28. After that, we'll change the scripting backend from mono to IL to CPP, disable ARM v7, and enable ARM 40 or 64. Finally, we'll set up our Google Cloud project. Head over to the Google Cloud Console. If you don't have a project already, 
create a new project. Uh, here, I've already set myself up with a project. And we'll start by enabling some new APIs. So head over to the hamburger menu and open up the APIs and services. We'll go to the library to find out which APIs we'll need. We'll start with the AR Core API. Select the AR Core API over here, and we'll hit Enable. After that, we'll head back to the APIs and Services library, and we're going to add a new API here called the Tiles API. The Map Tiles API provides the Unity editor with a photorealistic tile view of the world. So we're going to be enabling that. Open up the Map Tiles API and click Enable. And those are the APIs that we need for this project. After that, we're going to set up some credentials. So head over to the Credentials page. You may already have a new API key, but I'm going to cover how to create a new API key as well. So we'll go to the, back to the Hamburger menu. And in APIs and Services, we'll go to Credentials and create new credentials. We're going to select API key here. Copy this API key out of Google Cloud and back into your Unity project. We're going to head over to XR Plugin Management. And in the Android tab, enable AR Core. After that, we'll head to the AR Core extensions page and change the Android authentication strategy from do not use to API key. And then input the API key that you just obtained from Google Cloud. After that, we'll enable some optional features, the first being geospatial and the other being geospatial creator. All right, with our project set up, we can start using the geospatial creator. Close out from here and head over to the hierarchy panel. We'll use the right mouse button to add a new object to our hierarchy panel. In this case, we'll use XR and head over to AR geospatial origin. This will add the geospatial creator to your scene. In the inspector panel, we'll click Add Cesium Geo Reference Component and put in the API key that we just obtained from Google Cloud. Once you've done so, hit Enter. And you should see something load up here on the right. Uh, so right now, we have this black little box over here. We're going to disable that by going over to Layers in the top right and disabling the UI. So this is basically the uh, sample scene that you'll see on your app. But we don't need that right now, so we're going to disable it. In your Unity editor, you should be able to see a 3D representation of one of the locations, of the default location. Of course, this isn't where you want to put your uh, AR experience. So let's move the latitude and longitude of this location. Head over to Google Maps and find a location on Google Maps that you want to anchor your AR location or experience at. I'm going to use the Googleplex. So once you've found that location, we're going to determine at what latitude and longitude this place is. So anywhere on your map, you can just right, use the right mouse button to find the latitude and longitude of this location. We're going to click these numbers here to copy the latitude and longitude to your clipboard. Then head back to Unity. So here on the right-hand side in the inspector panel, we're going to add the latitude and longitude to this project. So I'm going to paste it over here, and then copy the longitude out and add it to the longitude field over here. And then modify the height to uh, a different value that's maybe a little bit closer. I'm going to use 0, but it may differ on the location that you're using. So you should see uh, the location that you just obtained from Google Maps here in 3D. Uh, so just in case you need some little uh, guidance here, um, we're going to use the Unity Scene Viewer uh, to kind of explore the 3D map of this location. So as you hold the right mouse button, use WASD to fly around um, and find basically the place where you want to anchor your augmented reality experience. I think maybe right around here in front of the building would be nice. Maybe 
on the on the grass here a little bit on the intersection of this pavement. Looks great. Next thing we're going to do is add a 3D asset to this location. I've prepared a little asset for you that you can use if you want. Um, so if you've downloaded that, uh, please go to Unity. And in the Assets folder, use Import New Asset. I'm sorry, Import Package, and click Custom Package. We're going to be using the Tiger Asset. So click Open and Import. Then we're going to find the Tiger Asset in our project. It should be in Assets and Tiger Asset. Drag the Tiger model from the project panel and into your scene, like so. And you can kind of see that the Tiger is kind of small, so I'm going to teach you how to uh, position it in the right place and make it a little bit bigger as well. So clicking on the Tiger, you have this uh, tool menu on the top left. So this one is uh, Move. So you can see the Move gizmo here, and you can kind of move your uh, Tiger, put it in the right place. I think I'll put it back a little bit, just because it might be a little bit dangerous. And I'll move it up a little bit. There we go. And then I'm going to make him a little bit bigger. So using the Scale tool, make him um, maybe something like this. Move him back up a little bit. And this is the rotation tool, so I'll use the rotation gizmo to uh, make him face this way. Perfect. So this is also uh, a preview of what your augmented experience, augmented reality experience is going to look like when you run it on your device. All right. Now that we have the Tiger asset placed, we're going to add a component onto him. Click the Add Component button, and we're going to look for Geospatial Anchor and select the AR Geospatial Creator Anchor. Here you can see the latitude and longitude of where AR Core is going to be anchoring your content. Right now, since it's in the right location, I think manual altitude is going to be fine. But if you open up this menu, you'll be able to see the different anchor types uh, that are available to you. I'm going to use the terrain anchor type here. You'll see that there's new, two new fields, the first being altitude offset, and the second being WGS84 altitude. So this altitude here is what is used to display in the editor. Uh, so in the editor, it's used to uh, position the uh, tiger asset in your view. But at runtime, the terrain anchor offset will be used. So an altitude offset of 0 will mean that AirCore will place the asset at zero. Uh, the altitude of zero. All right. So our tiger asset is a little static right now. Uh, I've also prepared a little animation for you as well. Uh, so if we head over to the tiger model in the hierarchy, we'll click Add Component and find the Animator component. And for the controller, just click over here and add the tiger animation controller. This will add the animation and make your tiger seem a little more lifelike. Right, with your scene set up, make sure to save and have it head over to File and Build. We're going to click the Build button and export an APK. After the build is done, use ADB or a different program to install the APK to your device. Go to the location and open up the application that you just built. After geospatial localization, look at the location that you specified in the Unity editor and watch your tiger come to life. You'll see it roar. And uh, make sure you get a good look at it from all angles, because I think the uh, model looks pretty awesome. Um, if you're not happy with how the object is placed, Go back into the Unity editor and kind of move it around and rotate it and really make it your own. That demonstration brings us to the end of the workshop on how to create a world-anchored augmented reality experience using the Unity editor. Today, we learned how to use the Unity interface to view the 3D twin of the world. Then, we added a tiger to that world, positioning it at just the right spot. Afterwards, we added a realistic animation to it, bringing it to life. Finally, 
we viewed the augmented reality experience on our own device. We're so excited to see what helpful and awesome AR experiences you'll produce with the Geospatial Creator in Unity.